Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy 23x back in the building. Feel me? And as you can see, not only by the title, but my my search bar right above us, man. Feel me? We starting off with OnlyFans, nigga. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> WNBA star makes OnlyFans to make up for her pay gap in the salary. Now, the, the, this video was made by motherfucking, um, what's his name? Flight, the Flight Mike, bro. Feel me? Now, I used to watch him back in the day. That's besides the point. The point is that now he makes videos covering stuff like this, bro. He He's basically the news of YouTube, bro. And honestly, from the videos I've seen, I, I stopped watching him because it's like half-assed information that gets turned into a whole story. Feel me? That's why I call him the YouTube news, nigga. But anyways, I have to. Apparently, uh, OnlyFans. I mean, only. Never mind. <laughs> and my job takes me to some pretty interesting places, and in this situation today, I can't believe I'm making content on this because we literally. <laughs> me neither, nigga. Have a WNBA player who is getting paid so little in the WNBA. There's no way it's her either, bro. This tall ass, fucking Joanna man, man, ass nigga, bro. There's no way, bro. Like, feel me? She's too tall, all that, to be. As she decided to go ahead and make an OnlyFans. Only or you can look at this in a different way, which is the way I choose to do it. Before we get to the content, just a reminder, we're going crazy for the holiday season. I'm personally Jewish. It's Hanukkah right now. So as a result, I'm giving away $500 to a subscriber that has my notifications turned on. Whether you're an old subscriber or a new subscriber, it doesn't matter. But if you're a new subscriber, go to the comment section down below and tell me you're new here. Of course, get follow us on our video, other bro. social media. The podcast. The fuck, nigga. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know me. My name is B Loon. <laughs> also known as Two Three A F. Yeah, I got that fucking swag, nigga. Yeah, I'm fucking back with a banger. It's like that, nigga. And he, nah, he, 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 oh damn. My bro. brand is called. Under Already the with the ad, like, come on, bro. Let, let me at least watch Simon. Before you hit niggas with ads and shit. Like, uh, okay. Flexing the gang with. Alright, who? Gang which contract. one of us is buying it? Shotty not. Mm -hmm. Nose goes. <laughs> Looks like uh, I'm, I'm not buying it. Yeah, Mike. You know it's not, it's you. You're the most single. No, I actually love it. I actually love the fact <laughs> that she's starting in OnlyFans. I think that's I think that's dope, man. Um, there, there's. <clears throat> You're not the only man if you do OnlyFans. I just want to let you know that, bro. A lot of money to be had, especially if you have clout. I'm pretty sure uh, she has well, like a million she, followers on IG too, or something like that. She also she said like yeah, her bro. family. Hey, Doug, if it's a girl that I'm thinking about that was in the the start of the video, bro, she's low key. Not only is she lit, but she she's tall as fuck. Like, turn to doing it. Mike Chuck's one that two has one nothing two. to do with her making the OnlyFans, but I'm just saying she's tall, like, and she's in the WNBA, so feel me, like. There's no reason that she should be doing her OnlyFans. And she's tall as fuck in the WNBA, bro. What's going on, everybody? I believe this is the first time I made a video on a WNBA player. And that player... At the same time, that, sh that comes to show that, hey, bro, they be getting skimmed woman by the name of Liz Cambage. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, Liz Cambage is a 10-year WNBA vet, although she's been playing sparingly in the WNBA throughout her career, playing at the ages of 19, 21, 26, 27, and more recently at the age of 29. She was drafted number two overall by the Tulsa Shock, and she currently plays for the Las Vegas Aces. Now, something that's a huge topic of conversation, at least in the political sphere, is the female wage gap, which is something that I don't really want to get to on this channel because we are not a political channel. But if there is something I'm willing to accept, it's the fact that the WNBA and WNBA players get paid significantly Whoa. less than- Travel? Except it's the fact that the WNBA and WNBA play- get Travel? It's significantly less now. than NBA and NBA players. And although some people would say, well, Mike, that's because women, they don't get paid as much. It has more to do with the product. In October of 18th, 2021, the NBA came out and said that they are projecting to generate $10 billion in revenue this season. And they set a record in $1.46 billion in sponsorship revenue. You know why? Because the NBA <clears throat> is backed by China. When I say backed by China, they're endorsed 
in China, so backed by China. NBA is just super big, bro. So, you know, it's it's global, bro. I mean, the WNBA is not global, bro. So when you start comparing paychecks and shit, like the WNBA to the NBA, it's two different things. The WNBA is not globally marketed like the NBA is. Past season. And when you look at the WNBA, you'll note one thing that's pretty important. It's the fact that they're a horrible business. As a matter of fact, according to this article, the WNBA generates roughly $60 million in revenue every season. That does sound like a lot if you're just looking at revenue. But when you take into consideration that they pay $70 million to run the league, then you realize that this league loses about $10 million each and every year. So it's just a testament to the NBA, man. They want women's basketball to take off so much that they're willing to eat up the costs and in the WNBA's defense I believe basketball wasn't really as popular when they first started early on in the 1900s it took some time for it to catch on and hopefully eventually it'll catch on so shout out she look you look I like she not bad she all right though yeah, NBA I, for subsidizing the WNBA, but the top players in the WNBA, as you can see, like Diana Taurasi, Skylar Diggins Smith, Elena Deladon, Brittany Griner, all get paid a maximum contract of about two hundred and twenty-eight thousand dollars. Now, when you compare <laughs> that, <laughs> bro, that's not funny. But <laughs> to Come the on. face of the NBA, LeBron James, he gets paid about $40 million. So yes, LeBron James pretty much makes a little bit more than half than the WNBA's overall revenue. As a matter of fact, his entire contract extension is way more money than the entire WNBA makes per year. Although it's a two year, $85 million contract extension that he signed at the end of 2020. Now, also something to bear in mind is typically the NBA season starts in October. And if you make it all the way to the end of the NBA Finals, they usually end yaddy, in the yaddy, middle of yaddy, June, yaddy, which yeah, according bro. to my advance, that's all I'm hearing right now. He's comparing salaries. A little bit more entrepreneurial you if you want the, this, what I consider to be like, a part-time job to be extremely profitable because the WNBA does provide some other services. I mean, you do end up on SportsCenter when you make great plays in the WNBA. There are ways to get your name out there and most of these women do have large Instagram followings. And thankfully, it looks like one particular WNBA star by the name of Liz Cambage is doing the most to leverage her audience in order to make some additional money. Now, for those of you guys that don't know who Liz Cambage is, she is at least to me before i even knew who she was she's the person that is being name dropped by drake when drake says wet like i'm book wet like i'm lizzie in sicko mode by travis scott she announced that she is no, actually flood, dropping an only fans for the so it's not cap Guys that don't know what OnlyFans it's is, cap, it's pretty yo. much it's a cap. website where you could send content out to your audience behind a paywall. Very similar to Patreon, but uh, not so much. Most of the time, individuals that are on OnlyFans use this paywall to release lewd slash nude content. And it looks like on November 24, 2021, Liz Cambage decided to do the very same thing, tweeting out a link to her OnlyFans account. So this was met with like very mixed reviews from her audience on one hand people are saying wow the wnba is paying you that little that you need to make an only fans whereas my personal take on the i buff her dick nigga what the fuck there is look man i'm gonna be honest i'm like the ultimate capitalist my parents were immigrants we came to a foreign country and based off of just my analysis of the way america worked and based off of what i wanted to do i was able to build a business for myself where i record videos of myself in my bedroom yelling at a computer screen and thousands of people decide to watch me so I believe that this is the day and age, especially in the internet age, that you can get really creative with ways of making money for yourself. And you can really change your life if you do so. I mean, did you know that Tyga makes $10 million a year off of OnlyFans? So honestly, I'm very much in the boat of... Hey. Ladies watching. Go get your oh, bag, man. girl, because you have Had to be us. very creative in today's day and age. No way, this nigga, want... wait, no way this nigga made 10 million. How do you know this, bro? Like, Join that elite tier. The only way I would believe that is if Tiger <clears throat> pressed the button on his phone. I mean, matter of fact, he just on IG Live. He like, yo, look how much I made on OnlyFans, bro. Feel me? Then instead of him showing a picture, that nigga actually slide. He clicks on OnlyFans, goes to the revenue. It shows $10 million, bro. 
Other than that, bro, it's capped me. Comfort. She said back in April to Chris Johnson Hoops that the amount of money I could be making off of OnlyFans is crazy. What am I doing sitting here? Bear in mind that Liz has already kind of dabbled in this before. She did do a Playboy shoot before, and she said that she's never embraced her sexuality in public, and her doing Playboy is her celebrating her sexuality. She said, yeah, I am a straight six foot eight woman <laughs> who likes to have sex. I'm a human, it's what we do. So. You're not the only man if she do only fans. Nah, I can't imagine fucking a 6 8 bitch. Like, let's be real. No wonder why they, like, sometimes I like to think of it like, oh, like tall girls, feel me? They still fire, or whatever. And they are, bro. But 6 8? You almost a 7 footer, bro. You almost should kill Lil Neil Height. I can't even, I can't even pick you up, to be honest. Like, Actually, I probably could. It depends how much you weigh. If you cool 250, if you 250 and up is raps, but I can't even pick you up. Like, yeah, I can't even, like, just imagine being in bed with a 6'8", bitch. Like, I can't even, she, she can't even fit my bed, bro. A whole queen size bed. She can't even fit my bed. Yeah, six, it's really eight. interesting how tall that shit is ridiculous. I like six, maybe six one. Philly, I Philly, I'm not gonna lie. Like tall, tall girls do get shunned type shit because you, you a little too tall, bro. Like Philly, where it is what it is. But at the same time, it's like six eight is crazy. Liz Cambage is. I mean, there's pictures of her next to LeBron James, and like, dude, oh my god. <laughs> I mean, they she's taller than LeBron. You can't even like grab her head and like feel me. It shit too far away. Literally the, are the same she height. She's not picking you up. Type shit like if you being real. The same height. When you look at them, here's another picture of her next to Shaquille O'Neal, and Shaq is seven foot two. And look at how Liz Cambage is barely a few feet shorter. So yeah, I definitely think there's a niche for women like Liz Cambage that are larger than the average woman. But no niche. <laughs> No, maybe, maybe OnlyFans. Like, I can see it on OnlyFans. But in real life, I'm not saying I'll, I'll definitely... Maybe I'll go ballistics, guts rearrange, all that. But at the same time, it's like... I can't even imagine that shit. Like, feel me? She did us taller than my bed. <laughs> That's crazy. Extremely athletically built. And honestly, more power to her for leveraging this opportunity and her 1 million followers on Instagram to try to make some additional money. Do I feel like the WNBA needs to- Bro, she get on top of me. It's like she's standing on me, bro. It's like, she's still six foot, like, on top of me type- it's crazy. It's crazy. Paying their players I'm more. Done. Eh, personally not. Getting paid two hundred and twenty thousand dollars for four months of work is a pretty solid gig in my opinion. And having additional opportunities like this to potentially oh. leverage your brand into other things. Bro, I was saucer shit. I'm not gonna hold you, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm talking about basketball wise. Like, I'll dead ass make your ass tremble all that. Like, pretty awesome as well. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about all this, man. Are you all for the Liz Cambage OnlyFans? Or are you going to buy the Liz Cambage OnlyFans? Aside from that, I'm your boy Mike. I'm dropping our mic until our next upload. I would genuinely never in my life WNBA silent making bang on OnlyFans. Who made this? Anyways, besides the point, that's the end of the video right there. I forgot what I was saying before. Um, I got sidetracked. But a six foot eight bitch making <laughs> porn videos. <laughs> 2021. That's all I gotta say. Anyways, bro, I'm up out here, bro. Peace.